Before I cut to the chase, let me rewind the clock four years. At this point in time, Milwaukee just doubled the capability of our M18 system. And we knew that we had the technology that was going to continue to propel us forward. Fundamentally, this point in time changed the game for us. We knew we were getting into technologies that was going to let us go places beyond power tools. So we took a step back. We assigned a core team to start scouring job sites and looking for issues and frustrations beyond the space we play in today. We found issues. We found a lot of issues. Things like gas-powered products, the starting, the emissions, the gas mixtures, the noise, the vibration, just a complete headache. Some of the most gut-wrenching categories we've ever done on research on before. Things like coring on a ladder. You'd stand there watching those applications. Your heart is pounding. You're ready to call the ambulance at any point in time. And the stories, the stories we would hear from our users about getting hit in the face, teeth being knocked out, being thrown off a ladder. This was a motivation killer. And that wasn't just a motivation killer for that user during that application. That killed your motivation for the whole week because you knew at some point in time, in the next day, two days, three days, that you had to do this application and you dreaded it. Things like equipment, 200 pound drum machines, being lugged up and down stairways. Multiple people trying to lift these in and out of a vehicle. And just the wear and tear on the body, the amount of injuries this would cause. But this was not a drum machine problem. This was an equipment problem. At this point in time, we knew our vision was crystal clear. How do we look for solutions to go after these categories today and change the game? And that's exactly what we did. You look at other spaces around this, where the frustrations were huge, is we knew if we went after this space, we couldn't be cocky. We couldn't say, hey, we're going to go after this new space and we're going to figure it all out. We had to do our homework. To put it in perspective, we've been on over 2,400 job sites globally. We spent 7,000 plus hours standing toe to toe with users doing these applications, learning from our users, obsessing about what can we do differently? How can we make their lives better? The testing, tens of thousands of hours of testing. We knew we're gonna go after this space, the new spaces, that we've never been before, the most treacherous environments that we've stepped in, we needed to test them properly. Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited to introduce Milwaukee Tools' new system of equipment where every product is going to be designed from the ground up in order to deliver a best-in-class solution, bar none, all wrapped around one connected system. Machines in a hole are dangerous. If you hit a rebar or any kind of that jam the blade, you got one with a bad clutch. You get knocked off the ladder, you miss some teeth, and you're popping breakers left and right. Drum drinking equipment, so you're lifting all of that equipment on your own. It's hard to move around, get down on customer stairs. Trying to keep things clean, so sometimes we get my hair with drain cleaning, sometimes it sprays on the inside of the cabinet. And it'd be a lot of mess. Breaker is probably my least favorite tool to bring out of the trailer. It's just not fun. They're heavy, they're loud, and they shake you to hell. It takes a toll on you. We go to jobs all the time when there's lack of light in the areas we need to work. Not being able to move lights around a job site restricts your vision of what you're doing. The problem is just tripping breakers. On a job site, the generator does have a lot of noise. And you run gas frequently at the wrong time. They're heavy. <laughs> a lot of them, at least the ones at our shop, are heavy. Most of the time, you can't have it in the building. Whenever the cop sock comes out, it's a search for hearing protection. It's the essential, so they are loud. I'm trying to start it and do a real trick. Carburation issues, fuel issues, having to mix the fuel, store fuel. We got fumes, so yeah, they're not good indoors at all. And that's where we really need them. Going into something for a battery platform, we don't feel the way with getting into something that's a little more compact, has the power that we need to kind of eliminate the extension cord so that would all be huge steps ahead of us.
introduce our next field, Milwaukee's new equipment system. Now let me introduce you to the family. Standing at 10 feet tall, delivering 30,000 lumens and being able to withstand the storm, MX Fuel Rocket Tower Light, the new way to light the site. MX Fuel Carry-On Portable Power Supply. This is going to deliver unrivaled power anywhere. No noise, no emission, and designed to fit where you need it, when you need it. MX Fuel Sewer Drum Machine. This thing is going to be the most mobile machine. It's going to have tank treads on it that are going to take you up those stairs and down those stairs. It's going to be able to easily have one operator remove it from the vehicle and back into the vehicle. Not to mention it's going to be the most powerful. It's going to have a whole new set of features that are going to give the user a whole new level of control. Sewer calls just got simplified. No more MX Fuel <laughs> MX Fuel Drum Machine. You know all those stories we just told, those miserable nightmares? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am excited to introduce the world's safest handheld core drill. This is going to have patented clutch technology. It's going to tape our auto stop technology that's going to prevent loss of control culminating into an experience where our users can now core with confidence. MX Fuel Breaker. This is going to be the world's first full-size breaker. It is going to deliver the hardest hitting in the market with the lowest vibration and the lightest weight. Runtime, we got you covered. This is going to be able to break two tons of material per charge. And finally, we're extremely excited to introduce the MX Fuel 14 inch cutout saw. The world's first full size 14 inch cutout saw. It's going to deliver that same performance and power of the market leader today. None of the gas headaches. The best 14 inch cutout saw experience, period. You take all these, and this is just the beginning. Just like M12. Just like M18, we're going to propel hundreds of solutions into this system. And I can say on behalf of me and my team, over a very, very long four and a half years of just waiting to get it out there, we are extremely excited today to see you have experienced these and for your readers to experience these products. So let's go get our hands on them.